Hi Virgo, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm filming this on Valentine's Day 2022. This is for Virgo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Virgo in your chart. Um, I hope the Valentine's Day short little readings that um, I just did resonated for you, Virgo, and if they didn't in the Virgo reading, I hope you checked out the other signs in your chart. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, I hope you can share a video with at least one friend as we, we, well, I slowly but surely grow this channel. Um, every little bit helps. Thank you very much. Um, the message that I have for you, Virgo, as we are in the last week of Aquarius season before it goes into Pisces is I feel like there's a Virgo who is either wanting to be alone or is already having alone time and is really happy there. Like I was seeing the Hermit card very much in my head and I was like, this is a Virgo who's having alone time or wanting alone time and needing or liking that they're in their element. As always, Virgo, please let me know if it resonates. That's my random Valentine's Day decoration back there. <laughs> ah. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well, Virgo. Ooh, the King of Cups upright. Someone got you in your feels, Virgo. This is water energy. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Ooh, the Strength card. That is um, Leo energy. Page of Cups behind that strong this isn't an attraction this is a this is like a strong emotion <clears throat> here you are i just said i was seeing the hermit card this is wild to me i'm so glad this is caught on camera this makes me believe you wish you had your alone time and that you're not getting it right now because it's in reverse. Maybe you've met, all right, maybe you, for whatever reason, don't live a row. Oh, a row, a row. <laughs> you don't live alone. Your family's there and you wish you had like a place to sneak off with your honey bunny and you can't or something about wanting to be alone but not being able to be alone and I feel like it's I want to say for loving reasons but I don't understand that Knight of Pentacles reverse with the Knight of Cups upright. All right, let me get one more and then I'll say what I just started thinking. There's a couple thoughts I have here. There's either a Virgo who want, who is going through it emotionally, could be going through a depression right now, and um, is keeping to themselves or wishing they could like tap out from life and just like lay in bed for a day or two or I don't know how long. But it's like a depressing emotional state. Okay, that's for one Virgo out there. The Eight of Wands came out, which is a communication card. And now I'm going to say what I was thinking before. Oh, yeah. Page of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> I'm in. I'm. 
I'm connected with a Virgo. This this Virgo story has to do with the Virgo who is talking to someone, communicating with someone, could be online specifically, but you're doing it in a manner that is um, quiet. Nobody else knows about it. Maybe just you and this person. Um, or this is someone around you. There is emotion. I'm hearing emotional affair. There's emotion going on in this communication. That Virgo, either you are a part of because you're here or I'm just actually seeing like it going on around you. There could be like an, a desire to have like an intervention of some sort to communicate about love. There's some sort of <clears throat> emotional communication going on around you, Virgo, that you don't know about. the ace of pentacles is here and it's right here and i and the queen of pentacles is right here there's a lot of earth energy ace of cups reversed the devil i'm getting a very um crepes how do i describe this <clears throat> Someone was looking or is looking for something. This is what someone was looking for, that star. And someone came along and offered offered it. Whomever was looking for this, whatever this is. It was, I just feel it's not emotional and this is very... I want to say sexual in nature, but I don't see all these wands. I just see like the coins. All right, now I'm going back to this feeling of like someone needing to get healthy and like health is being offered and like possible it's right here and it's like i care about you this is why i want you to take this and drink this and someone may be having some mood swings Oh, this is a drinking problem, Virgo. Someone has a drinking problem. I just realized that's what it is. The King of Cups. Someone's indulging too much in alcohol. And uh, Virgo, you're being told by maybe more than one person that you need to reel it in. Oh, yeah, there's been fights about this. I see brown eyes. I see someone like getting gray and looking old all of a sudden because of their drinking. Oh. Maybe someone needs to communicate to you, Virgo, or you to someone else that um, there's a problem. I feel heavy. There's a problem. 
I don't know how, why online. Okay, someone may drink alcohol and communicate online. They might gamble. They might be spending money online. Thinking nobody's going to know, but then it comes out. Specifically gambling, though. That's why it's coins. And not wands. That... Th So Pi the hanged one came out Pisces energy and I just think that this is still like someone is tied to <clears throat> tethered I'm hearing to could be the loss all right this could be someone who's like sad for their previous self like their younger years and is like looking in the mirror and seeing how gray they and old like they look and they're being nostalgic for their past and thinking about the past when they were young and uh or maybe even someone's doing everything they can in their power to keep themselves young or looking younger and i just feel like someone's that hanged man is like someone keeping themselves stuck in a rut or stuck to a <sighs> stuck to a pattern or habit that you have every control over Like if someone were, or you're saying you have control over it and to other people, it does not appear that way because if it was right side up, I'd say you're stuck. You're there. You're stuck there. You need to, you need help. But if it's in reverse, it's supposed to symbolize that this person can un, like unhook themselves, unchain themselves Maybe you're not seeing things the way other people see it. This would be the way everyone else is seeing it, but you're seeing it this way. Maybe someone just doesn't see things the same way, Virgo. Ace of Wands reversed. The Moon and Justice. Cripes, I just saw those and... And I shuffled. Pisces you could be dealing with Pisces and um the hanged one is Pisces energy <clears throat> but the moon is oh cripes and the the devil is here these are a lot of majors right now the hermit is a major the hanged one the devil the moon justice the moon is cancer energy justice is Libra energy then we have the ace of wands Yes, someone has an addiction to drinking. This is the addiction card. I just saw like someone downing the drink and like maybe even slamming the cup and then they go spend money. They might be doing this at work. This could be part of the job. Or this could be someone you're married to, Virgo, or who you're dealing with. This is another major. This is Taurus energy. There's a lot of legal cards here. That moon and justice, though. I just get the feeling of like something someone doesn't know because this is a secretive card and this is a truthful card. Combine the two and you get for a Megan who's thinking. <laughs> I 
I had initially thought earlier too, I'm going to say this really quick because it did come to my head. Someone wishing they could stow away or are stowing away, finding a secret spot that they can to go either <laughs> talk dirty to someone, to talk to someone that they shouldn't be talking to, to even go so far to be sexting and then like masturbating, but it's all secretly. <coughs> Excuse me. That's quite a message, huh? This could even be Virgo talking to like people met online. Like it doesn't have to be something like Instagram or uh, Facebook. I'm even seeing like actual like sites for this, for communicating, for like sexting and stuff. a bizarre reading Virgo okay I'm going back to like there's a gambling something about gambling or putting money into something on the side or that others don't know about and I just <coughs> maybe someone communicates online and is investing a lot of their time and energy to this Virgo you or someone you're dealing with it's like all their time and energy is going into this project and they barely have any time and attention for what's over here. Eight of Wands again, more communication. This is the, uh, this I'm reading like as a third party card here now. Because this, this, this talks to me about someone who's trying to like, I'm seeing someone go, like go in their closet, like yelling to the family, like, I'll be right out or just give me five minutes in the bathroom. And they're going in there and like. quickly getting themselves off while they communicate with someone. Gosh, and then they go out and say cheers and they're like, maybe this isn't so secretive, but that's part of the allure here is the secrecy or doing something kind of secret. Maybe that's what I'm going to title this, like, Secret Fun. Yeah, because this, this talks to me about alcohol, drinking. I, I even get, like, impotent, impotency from drinking here. And someone in another story or the whole, the same story, someone or the same person <clears throat> escapes somewhere where they can hide. This could be like, I'm even th thinking like during the work day, during their lunch break, if they, but it's someone who works from home. I mean, maybe it isn't a, like a business, but I don't know how you would do that. But it's like to go dirty talk to someone and then like. <laughs> to get themselves off. Puts them in a happy, 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 happy mood. And then they go, they just go back to life like. Let's get one more for Virgo, because this is a very interesting reading. Please let me know if it resonates. King of Swords, communication card. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I'm just thinking this is, I'm, I've am i been saying communication, communicating, communicating. This guy has gone out into the forest and up into the cloud so he can go communicate. He has privacy. Maybe someone specifically goes outside because look at the birds, look at the butterflies. It's, it's while they're outside that they're communicating, Virgo, either you or them. Whoa. Someone is like not happy right now with me. That's why this is like bouncing out of my hands. Strength reverse, two of cups and the sun. Wow, this is a lot of Leo energy. I'm just getting really strong. I'm thinking like really strong feelings. A really vivid, strong red flags that something is going on. Strong, vivid red flags. Virgo, please let me know if this resonates. Um, if it doesn't, because this seems pretty specific, please check out your other signs and um, stay happy and healthy. Happy Valentine's Day and I will see you next time. Bye.